Hi friends, it's Liz here. So I am sharing the how-to video on this altered book greeting card holder that I shared um, a little, a few days back. Um, there were many requests to show you guys how I put this together, so I'm doing that now. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below so you can see what it looks like. So what you will need for this project is really um, basic pieces. You'll need a hard book cover, a ruler, glue, and your greeting cards. That's it. So for the size of your book, you also have to decide what, um, what size you might need. You know, some greeting cards are larger than others, so you can decide the size of your book based on the cards you will be adding. And um, also there's a difference in thickness of pages of books. So, you know, one could have lots more pages than the other, and that depends on how many greeting cards you've got to add and how thick you want your book to be. I happen to have this really nice cover before. Um, you know, the basic ones are the black covers and um, you can decide, you know, what you will do with that. You can paint the cover, you can add cardstock to it, etc. Um, so that's up to you there. And then you can see the inside of each book has a different, um, you know, uh, page color as well. So it's up to you what book you will be using, but you can always alter the cover as you see fit. So what I will be doing is also um, showing you that this is a, a fairly new book. So the spine is intact, it's not falling apart, it's very sturdy, and you'll need that kind of book to hold your greeting cards in. Um, so now I'm going to show you how I start to, um, you know, kind of cut the book to make the hinges, which is super easy, as I mentioned before. So you'll pick your where you want your first page to start. So your first hinge where you will have your first greeting card. You line up your ruler to the spine. And then as you see me here, I'm just tearing the pages out um, using my ruler as a guide. And I'm cutting about four pages per hinge. And then in between that hinge, I'm going a little further back so it's a uh, it's cutting the pages basically a lot um, a thinner hinge in between. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. I just kind of went behind the text on the second one. You can see how small that is. And that's because this is sort of what will take the bulkiness out of my book. And you can leave it as is, or you can choose to cut it um, smaller as I am doing here. I like that whole, you know, rustic handmade look. So I like to tear in between sometimes and just make it shorter and, you know, more jagged edges, not so straight, but that's entirely up to you. You can just do the ruler version as I had shown you and leave it at that. And now uh, I'm going to go again to do the second hinge and that's just way behind the pages that we recently cut. And I'll line up the ruler again, as you can see. And then this way it also gives you even um, hinges because you're using the ruler as your guide to cut the pages. So they should be about the same size. So you can see here, they look quite even. And then the in-between pages that we're cutting out is just to take out some of the bulkiness of the pages, sorry, of the book. So I'll show you again. I'm tearing about four or five pages, I believe, in between. Again, that's up to you, depending how thick your book is, you know, how many pages you want removed in between your greeting cards. Um, but I am, for the hinges, making about four pages that I'm um, tearing out for the hinge part of the book. So I'll show you again. I'll just line up that ruler to the spine and I'm going again behind my last uh, page tear, lining it up, holding it in place, and then tearing again. So you see how easy that is. So I'll just continue doing this a little bit more. I'll show you what it looks like in the in-between stages so you can get an idea of how the book is taking shape. So as you can see here, I have about um, five, five or six of the hinges ready to go and I'll continue to do that and then I'll come back and show you when that is finished. So here we go. I've 
taken all the pages out that I needed to. I've done my hinges and the in-between pages and see how nice it looks now. So now you're ready to add your greeting card or scrapbook or whatever it is that you'll be attaching to your hinges. You'll select your first um, card that will be at the front. And the easiest way to do that is to line it up so that it has a nice border in between. And this is how you would attach it. So you could attach one to the front and to the back. You could add an envelope to the back if you wanted to, and this will give you a little pocket to add things to it. Or you could just leave it with the front one attached only and nothing else, which is what I did with my original book. So you can see, you can use this to journal in the back of, etc. So I'm actually going to go back to my other book to show you how I'm adding them because I haven't quite finished that one yet. Um, I just have a few more um, spaces left that I can add to my hinges. So um, I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just using your um, wet glue. This is actually a tacky glue, very similar to Aileen's, but I found this at the dollar store. And as you can see here, I'm just selecting which um, greeting card I'm going to add next. And it's the same process that I, I showed you before. I just um, kind of measure by eyeballing where I think the card should be added, as you can see there. And then I'll just add glue to the back of that card and then attach it to my hinge. And I eyeball really the, um, the size of the, um, sorry, the amount of glue and the thickness of it just based on the spine. So I'm just guessing the, um, you know, how much glue I'm going to need for that part of the spine. And again, I just kind of line it up to the last one so I can get a better idea of um, spacing there. And for this particular one, I'm going in between the hinges. So not at the end um, of where I cut, but in between the last hinge that I used, as you can see here. And then I'll close the book so that it naturally um, goes with how the pages want to close. And this way it makes it kind of easier when you're closing your book for everything to be in place. And then I also like to glue a few of the hinges together for reinforcement. So as you can see here, I've got this page or this greeting card glued onto that hinge. And now I'm just going to glue another part of the hinge to it to reinforce it and make it a little thicker. I do find that the cards are quite thick. Um, so it's nice to have a thicker reinforcement um, by gluing some of the hinges together. And you can see me just doing that there. And then I'll just be gluing the next hinge to it. So this is it. You'll just continue to do the same for your, um, you know, greeting cards, whatever it is that you're adding. As I said, it was a super fun and easy project and you can get this done in a couple of hours, really. Um, you can see here, I've got a couple of pages left um, for this last hinge. Um, and then you'll kind of start your new one there as well. So this one is attached and now I'll just be adding the next one to it just to show you again how I do it. So in between the hinges, as you see, we've cut um, the pages shorter and now I'm grabbing the next hinge that will come um, here and then I'm attaching the next card. Hopefully that's making sense. So again, the same process, you just add glue to the back of your card and then you'll just be attaching it to your hinge by lining it up based on, I guess, your last um, greeting card or if you've got something bigger like I do with this one, it's, um, it's easier to kind of see how you can frame it in between those pages. So again, just carefully adding it to the hinge, making sure that it's lined up how you want it. Close your book again to give it that natural closure that the book wants to have. And then I'll just be um, gluing the next hinge to that one to reinforce it again. So see how you've got a few pages. So you could do what I'm doing or leave each hinge individually and add your own pages so it will be a thicker book. But I find that this really helps with reinforcing 
you know, holding whatever it is you've glued to the front. So again, you'll see me adding that and there you've got your next hinge. So I hope you guys like the share. Um, it was so fun to put this together. I am definitely going to be making lots and lots more of these and I hope you guys um, share with me if you make some. Um, either tag me on Instagram or show me on Facebook um, or just leave me a message and let me know where to see what you've done. I would love to see your project and how you finished it. As always, questions, comments, please leave them below. Now, as you can see for these book covers, you can paint your book cover. You can add, um, you know, something to the spine. I added um, duct tape. You don't have to, but I just did that because I didn't want to read the book title when it was on the bookshelf. And you can see how nicely you can have a bunch of these ready to go and just start adding them when you're ready. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share if you like this video. Bye.